Hey, happy Monday and good morning. It's Gabe Monroy with Nerd Tech, and I'm making a video today about inbound calls with Air.ai. Uh, it's a great use uh, case scenario that a lot of clients have used. Uh, I help a lot of clients set this up, and so just wanted to give some tips and tricks on kind of how I do that, and maybe some uh, different things that you can utilize with that as well, like live transfers. So uh, we'll just jump right into it. I'm gonna build this from scratch so you can kind of see how I would do it. Uh, we're gonna click on new agent. We're gonna name this test inbound customer service. We're gonna do sales. Uh, don't use these two, even for customer service, we're always gonna use sales, it works better. We're gonna do the new flow builder. All right. Now this, uh, the new flow builder gives you kind of like a little template here to start with. So we'll go ahead and start with that. So instead of hey prospect name, since this is gonna be customer service, we're gonna say, hi, this is Sammy with ABC Electrical. How may I help you today? All right, so a couple things I want to give some tips on here. Here's how most people would start out their customer service. Uh, and also some people put a comma here. I like to put a period and I like to break up sentences with periods and anywhere I would typically put a comma, I usually put a period for my AI scripts. The reason is, is because uh, the more periods, it'll actually cause fluctuations up and down with the AI's voice to make it sound a little bit more real. The commas don't do that as well. So uh, we don't typically write these as you would uh, perfect English. Uh, we write them the way we want the AI to sound. Uh, so, okay, one, one thing I would change to this as well, instead of saying, how may I help you today? I would actually change this to say, how are you today? Now, the reason for this slight modification is because I want to control the conversation. Now, some people think this sounds a little bit like an IVR at first, but it's not an IVR because we're using AI voice. It's dynamic and it can still have an actual conversation. But it's important to be able to control the conversation from the beginning so that we don't get uh, questions or answers outside of what we can handle. And we want to funnel the client, the lead, the prospect, or whoever may be calling in down the right path so that we can help them best based on how we've created this script. So how are you today is going to elicit a response and they're gonna say, hey, Sammy, I'm great, uh, how are you? And she's gonna say, great, thanks for asking. And then what we're gonna do is this next line is going to say, great, they're gonna say something like I'm doing great. And then she's going to say, are, and this is not going to be perfect. I'm just writing this as we go. Are you calling us today to book an appointment? Or let's see here. Or did you just have questions about our services all right so here's the reason why uh this is how i'm directing the call instead of them saying how may i help you today in the beginning they could start going off a path that the ai is just not ready for this is going to better prepare the ai on how to answer them so if they say uh says so they already put the part if human so we're going to say says they want to book an appointment and then says they have general questions. All right, now here's what it's going to start looking like. Here we have the two paths here. So that's the general questions path. We're gonna start going down this path first. So book an appointment. Here's what I would do for book an appointment. I would say, perfect, I'd be Happy to help you with that. Uh, 
is your appointment for, uh, let's see, what would we have an appointment for? Maybe uh, a uh, tech support for an electrical issue or is it related to a new build or install. All right, again, just coming up with this off the top of my head. So now we're gonna say, says they need appointment for tech support on electrical issue. Says they need to book appointment for new install bid. All right. I'm going to get rid of these nodes here. And now you can have two different uh, nodes for each different type of appointment. Now, currently, we can still only connect one calendar. So ideally, it'd be really cool if they get to the point where we could connect a calendar to each node if you needed to book those two different appointments. But the reason I split this up is because before we book the appointment, maybe we need to gather some information and we want these questions to be relevant to the type of appointment they need. So we could ask the qualifying questions and then uh, like for instance, we could do question here for that. We could do question here for this one. Maybe you have a couple more questions, but ultimately we're gonna come down here. We're going to book appointment. Uh, I'll just put in my normal. Here's what I would put for book an appointment. So here's my calendar prompt. And then we could bring this one over to there so they come into one appointment after we've asked the qualifying questions. So that's how that side would look. Now, if they just had general questions about our business, what this looks like is we would write a note over here that says, great, what questions did you have for me? I'll do my best to answer, and if I can't, then we can always book a call with one of our experts if needed. All right, now what we're gonna do is after they ask the question, the next thing we're gonna say is, Did you have any other questions for me? And then we're gonna say, says they have another question. Says they do not have another question. says they would like to book an appointment. With, uh, we don't need to put with an expert. We'll just leave it simple. All right, so what we're doing here, uh, all right, sometimes there's a bug where this gets erased, so we're gonna rewrite this. Great. Did you have for me? I'll do my best to answer or can book a call with an expert if I can't answer it. All right, so here's what we're doing. We have three branches. If they have another question, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, loop up to here. And because we're looping up to here, I'm going to take this out so that it just sounds the same. All right. 
So this is going to say, great, what questions did you have for me? I'll do my best to answer. Uh, we can both call our experts. So I accidentally had rewrote that down here. All we want this one to do is once we've said this initial intro, it comes down here. It's going to answer their question. Now, this is where we put all the questions in a connected knowledge base. So every possible thing we can think of for customer service regarding your business, we would want to put in the knowledge base. When they ask something, it's going to reference the knowledge base, and then it's going to come to here. If it's not in the knowledge base, we can put uh, instructions to say, if you don't have the answer, just simply say, great question. We would need to book a call with an expert to ask that one. All right. So we'd want to put something like that right there. If you don't put that in there, it'll try to make stuff up, and our goal is to try not, uh, to keep it from making stuff up, even if it's not in the knowledge base, so that you don't get in trouble. I've seen some pretty wild things that it's made up if it doesn't have it in the knowledge base. That's the most common problem, is not putting everything in the knowledge base and the AI making stuff up, but that's where clients get mad and think that it's not working correctly. All right, so we have here, uh, if they have another question, it's going to keep looping around. Great, what questions did you have for me? It's going to reference the knowledge base. They're going to ask the question. It's going to say, great, what questions did you have for me? So this might be what, uh, what uh, can I try to answer any other questions for you? All right, I like that better. All right, so if it loops back around, great. Can I try to answer any other questions for you? They ask a question, great. Can I try to answer any other questions for you? Then if they say they do not have any other questions, you can say, perfect. If you need anything else in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great rest of your day. And then once we get that done, we'll save it. We'll go in here, add action. We're gonna do the end call action, save, boom. We know that the action is here when it has the lightning bolt. Save it to make sure it stays. And we've just ended the call. And then over here, if they say they would like to book an appointment, we're actually not gonna create a node for that. We're gonna go boom over here and just go straight to our calendar. So this is how uh, a very, very rough draft would look like if we were wanting to build a semi-advanced uh, inbound agent. One more thing that would make this more advanced is if we added a, uh, I'd probably put this in the knowledge base. So for instance, if it's inbound and maybe these people are getting a little frustrated, let's do, a test test inbound we'll do it. knowledge base kb create one thing we could put in here in the knowledge base is we could say i want to be transferred now maybe somebody's getting frustrated and they want to be transferred no problem I'll try to get you transferred now. All right, so I'm going to create this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We would go to our customer service inbound. We would connect this knowledge base. So now it's live. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add an action to it. And then that add action, we're going to do live transfer. You select a type, you would do on a knowledge base card, continue. We would call this live transfer. You would choose the knowledge base card, no problem, I'll transfer you now. If we had a, an extensive knowledge base, we would just have to search for the card, but we only have one in this one, so that's the only one there. And then we would do the transfer number just like that, and then we would save it. And then the cool thing is, at any point during the script, it doesn't have to be a branch you could 
you could create it one of the branches if you wanted to. Maybe you wanted to give them an option right here that they want to be transferred and connect the action to it. But the cool thing about what I just did is, is any point through the script, maybe you had added a branch here to do the transfer, but maybe they didn't want the transfer till down here. So now if they say that, it's going to catch it in the knowledge base and be able to do that live transfer uh, at any point in time. Another little hack I'll tell you before we end this video is you can actually live transfer to another AI inbound agent. So for instance, if this is a general customer service agent, but you build another agent specifically for having a detailed knowledge base, uh, maybe for a specific type of electrical, maybe commercial or residential, or maybe you have a plumbing one or an HVAC one, and, and they are familiar with different types of HVAC units, and you build out a, an extensive knowledge base, and you could give them different options in the general script, and then say, okay, great, you need to talk to our you know, blah, blah, blah expert, let me transfer you now. And then it actually transfers it to another AI agent who has the extensive knowledge base to answer more of their questions and details. So that's a really, really cool use case scenario where you can start getting into complex scenarios where you're actually building an entire AI sales team to pass off to depending on what the client says. So again, I'm still a big proponent in using real humans. I pay a lot for my leads and I'd hate to see you guys miss leads, but some people are trying this and getting success with building out actual AI teams, and uh, it's working pretty good. So if you guys need any more information on uh, doing any of these integrations, I use NerdTech GHL to integrate this all with, and you can always book a call with me down below. First call's free, and we can discuss anything I can help you with. So uh, I hope this guide is, uh, I hope it helps you understand how maybe you can do inbound and kind of build on that and really see how powerful this is to possibly build out your uh, virtual AI team. Uh, so have a great rest of your week and uh, I'll be making some more videos later on. Thanks.